I'm on my way to the Parliament building. This building is the second largest administrative building in the world after the Pentagon in Washington DC. I'm hoping to get a tour or at least to look inside but I know you've got to have a, uh, a ticket to get in so I'm hoping I can buy it when I get there. So I'm getting closer now. Building is absolutely huge when you get close to it. 12 stories high, rises to 280 feet. But as high as it is, the underground section is even larger. Eight stories deep and has a huge nuclear bunker underneath there. So uh, there is an underground network of tunnels too. But the stat that I have is that you can fit 20,000 cars in the underground section. Place is huge. The hallmark of a dictator, 1,100 rooms. Most of them no longer used, but it is now the parliament building, but it's just way, way too big for that. So most of it lies empty. Okay, well, I've got lucky. It's about four o'clock and there was a sign on the entrance saying that the last tour of the day is half past three. So I popped in to see if I could do one tomorrow and they said, well, actually there's a four o'clock and uh, we've got one space left on it. So I've paid my money. I've just come out to have a quick look at the garden five minutes before it starts. And uh, then I'm gonna head in and do the tour. is the main entrance hallway some steps leading down there there's the main entrance and some more steps this side so the dictator and his wife could come down different sets of steps to greet their visitors in spectacular fashion this is the room Ceausescu was going to give his propaganda speeches from. No carpet and designed to echo so that the claps of a hundred people sounded like a thousand. We're now going into the largest room in the building, the ballroom. So in the ballroom, 10 meter, 30 foot high area there, ready for a portrait. One that side and then one that side as well. Ceausescu wanted his portrait one side and his wife's the other. That never happened. Oh, before I go as well, I must just say, legend has it apparently that uh, Ceausescu wanted that skylight up there retractable so that he could land his helicopter in the room, but that's not verified. So the guide says that is just legend, but you really wouldn't put it past the guy. I mean, everything about this place, it is a palace. Only a dictator could build something like this. The cost of the uh, building these days is three billion US dollars. So it costs five million euros a year to run this place when you add the electricity costs and the heating and all of that. They recoup a lot of that through tours like this but also hiring out some of the rooms for private events like concerts and dinners. Guide also said that this is the heaviest building on planet earth and can be seen from space and even though we've been on tour for an hour we've only seen four percent of the whole thing.
five o'clock. Tour has ended, that was fascinating. Such an incredible building. I am going to take a walk around the outside of it now. Uh, could take quite a while. So that building there is some kind of Romanian military building. And then around here, the JW Marriott. And then just to the left of that, I did read an article, 10 places to avoid in Bucharest. And if I was to turn right and go along there, that would be number one on the list to avoid. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what the article said. It's quite a rough neighborhood apparently. In any event, I'm turning left here to go back towards the front of the Parliament building. That's uh, an Orthodox church just behind the Parliament building. I'm not sure whether they're repairing, stroke restoring it, or whether they're building it from, from new. 